These are the major functions of water that you should know for this course. First, water is considered a universal solvent. The polar nature of water allows it to dissolve many substances, especially other polar compounds. This allows water to transport these dissolved molecules throughout the body. Secondly, water has a high heat of evaporation. This property allows water to help maintain body temperature despite external conditions. If we get too hot, the higher energy molecules evaporate off of our skin, leaving the lower energy molecules behind, thereby cooling the body in a process called evaporative cooling. Many of the biochemical reactions in the body that undergo hydrolysis, that is, the breakdown of molecules in the presence of water, require water as a substrate for the chemical reaction to occur. Water also provides lubrication in various parts of the body to aid in movement, such as in the joints, the eyes to aid in blinking. Just imagine trying to blink with dry eyes. The esophagus to aid in the passage of food. And there are many other examples that could be used here. Two terms that might be new to you that describe two other properties of water are cohesion and adhesion. To remember what each of these are, think of a cohesive group. If I were to ask you what is meant by a cohesive group, you would probably say a group of people that work well together. So cohesion is the ability of water molecules to stick to each other. This property provides surface tension on water. We can see the evidence of surface tension as bugs run across water without falling in. Adhesion is the ability of water molecules to stick to other kinds of molecules. Think of the prefix ad at the beginning of the word adhesion as water being added to something else. This ability allows water to stick to other surfaces such as the walls of blood vessels. To summarize what you have learned in the last three videos, water molecules are uncharged and polar. The unequal sharing of electrons gives the oxygen atom a slightly negative charge and the hydrogen atoms a slight positive charge, making it a polar molecule. However, if you add up the total negative charge and positive charges, they cancel each other out, making the overall molecule uncharged as identified by the lack of a charge shown with the formula for water. The polar nature of water is responsible for water's phenomenal ability as a solvent.